Welcome to this podcast on fibro epithelioma of Pincus. From an historical point of view, this tumor has been described by Hermann Pincus in 1953 as a premalignant fibro epithelial tumors of the skin, and lately it has been commonly referred with the eponymic of fibro epithelioma of Pincus. Clinically, it appears as a solitary flesh-colored tumor or slightly brown-gray, and sometimes could be also pedunculated or polypoid. It affects the trunk of persons aged 40 to 60 years old, and it has an equal sex distribution. The main clinical differential diagnoses include the dermal melanocytic nevus, pedunculated fibroma, acrocordon, and also seborrheic keratosis. This is the typical clinical scenario. Here you see the presence uh, of a very sharp demarcated pink nodule located on the back and the lymphosacral area of a woman. From an histopathologic point of view, Pibrobitelium of Pincus shows a peculiar pattern with an astomosing network of thin strands of basaloid cells that are connected with the epidermis and extend progressively into the dermis. And here in this histopathologic slide, you see the pattern with purple basaloid strands of cells and the pinkish dermal structures. The key features upon dermoscopy of fibroepithelioma of pincus have been described by Professor Iris Alaudek, and they include the presence of fine herborizing vessels, dotted vessels, and also white streaks and gray dots. In this example, you can see a pincus showing on the lower part two very tiny small erosions that remind us the diagnosis of BCC and the presence of vessels, dotted and linear vessels. Instead, in this case, you see much more the presence of the so-called white streaks that are represented by these white orthogonal lines that occupy entirely the tumor, along with the presence of some dotted vessels. Sometimes this tumor can be very red clinically, and you can see here a solitary red nodules. Always a given solitary red nodule should raise our index of suspicions for melanoma. When we use the dermatoscope, we see the dotted vessels and white streaks. However, in this case, it's not so easy to classify this tumor as pincus because this tumor can be in differential diagnosis also with a melanotic melanoma. Sometimes uh, fibroepithelium of pincus can show some pigment, as you can see here. The lesion is not pink, but reveals a little bit of pigmentation that is much more evident with dermoscopy, in which you can observe the presence of brown area that tend to form a kind of uh, leaf-like structures. And in the hypopigmented area, you see again linear vessels and dotted vessels. Another example of a much more pigmented uh, pincus showing few arborizing vessels in the upper part and a background that is from purple to bluish. This is a very uncommon presentation of a pigmented fibroepithelium of pincus. And lastly, another example of a pigmented pincus that clinically was mimicking a nebus. When we use the dermatoscope, we observe the presence of uh, peripheral leaf-like structures that are suggestive of a BCC and not of a pincus. And of course, this also could happen because pincus can show not only the typical pinkish background with the vessels, but sometimes, especially in the pigmented variant, it could be completely undistinguishable from a basal cell carcinoma. And lastly, confocal microscopy features of pincus have been described and reported in literature, and upon confocal microscopy, pincus showed the so-called fenestrated pattern with very bright strands of basaloid cells highlighted here by the arrows, and a whitish dermal structures pointed by the asterisks.
and thank you for your attention.